How to make the Loki text intro. Today's video is sponsored by a real person. Venom. Open the fusion page. Add a background node. Add a merge node after the background, and bring a text node and connect it to the merge. Write the first letter of your word. Place the letter where you want, and change the size of it. Activate the keyframe button for the fonts, choose a frame, and change the font style. Go to some random frame through the timeline and change the font to different style each time. Do this for few times to have a variety of letter style. Add a time machine node. For this you gonna need to install the reactor plugin, and activate the time machine tool. Set the mode to random. Change the source end frame to the number of your timeline frames, in my case 119. Add a transform node. Move the pivot point to the middle of your letter. Right click to the size slider, and select to modify with shake. Go to the modifiers tab, set the minimum to 1, the maximum to 1.3, and bring down the smoothness. Go back to the tools page, right click to the angle slider, and select to modify with shake. Go to the modifiers tab, set the minimum to minus 10, the maximum to 10, and bring down the smoothness. Adjust the rotation strength by increasing or decreasing the minimum and maximum sliders. Add another merge node after your current one. Bring a new text node and connect it to this merge. Repeat the same steps like before, just remember to slightly change the minimum and maximum values in every shape modifier you are adding. Also you can change the random seed slider. I will use my superhuman ability to travel through time. Once you made all of your letters, add a glow node. Decrease the shine threshold. Increase the spread value and the opacity to your liking. Add a film damage. Uncheck the activate box for the scratch effect. Increase the dirt density and the dirt size and change the color to white. Play around with the dirt sliders to find your desired result. Add a film grain node. Decrease the softness and tweak around the grain size and strength. Probably this will not be visible in YouTube, but if you are a nerd like me, then you will like this. And finally, add a time machine node, set the mode to skip, and change the skip number to 6. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, be like, I don't like it, it's free! Don't tell me your opinions on free shit.